two weeks ago, starting to see the, the saga that was Lois and Crystal unfolding. <laughs> and I'm guessing they may be sitting over there this time. I was watching to see if they were up there in the, uh, the balcony. For those of you a little unfamiliar with that, I, I, I often, I always invite everybody to come and give me topics to start talking about, you know, to kind of make it a little more personalized show. So it started out, where Lois came up and said, you gotta do jokes about a crazy woman named Crystal. <laughs> okay. So I came up and I made a joke about a crazy woman named Crystal. And then, Crystal comes up and says, you gotta do jokes about an old woman named Lois. <laughs> so I came up and I did jokes about an old woman named Lois. They're even, right? Wrong! So now, they start coming up back and forth. Actually, both of them cornered me last time. And Crystal's all like, oh, I want some more Lois jokes! And Lois comes up and goes, I want some Crystal jokes! More jokes about Crystal! And not only did they say they wanted me to do jokes about each other, but then Lois even just starts writing my jokes for me. <laughs> I bet your doctor must love you. Here, doctor, here's you. Let me take care of that for you. Hey, when I go to the dentist, I bet that's fun. Here, give, give me that pick. I'll just fix this. So Lois says, here's the jokes you gotta tell. I mean, I've just been doing this for about 10 years, but uh, by all means, Lois. Lois says, you gotta say, this is what it sounds like in Crystal's brain. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> and this is what her, this is what her body sounds like. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And now this is why I don't farm out my jokes to other people to write. So as my joke writer Lois, you are fired. <laughs> yes, Crystal will pay me very happy. Yes. So, sorry, Lois, I guess you've been bumped from the next show. And then, to top it all off, apparently there's a third friend, and I use the term friend loosely, because I'm pretty sure that Lois and Crystal may not actually be friends. <laughs> They have this weird passive-aggressive relationship that they decide to act out through a poor comedian. So they say about their third friend, Sheila. You gotta do some jokes about Sheila. Oh, okay, well, what about her? Well, she's the sweet one. Well, I don't know, one of you is a crazy woman, the other one's just an old bag. According to each other, mind you, this is how they refer to each other, if Sheila's the sweet one, that's kind of like being the tallest midget, right? <laughs> yes. Crystal, Lois, Sheila, case closed. <laughs> However, if the rest of you have weird little vendettas you want to enact out for each other, Carl is willing to do vengeance songs. <laughs> so if you got something you want to pick on your friend Lola about, he can sing Lola from the Cakes. 